Hello, YouTube. So, yay, two videos this week. <laughs> um, this time, uh, I am going to review, uh, or at least look at the two uh, enclosures that Kiki built last uh, two episodes. I forgot last episode to review this one, so I'm going to review them both, or look at them both. Uh, this episode but firstly I'm going to be building an enclosure and this one is going to be for Hartmann's mountain zebras and southern ostriches both animals from the Namib desert in southern, in southern Africa now I know um, the uh, zebras are listed as alpine tundra but the mountains they live in uh, or Kopjes, as they are called locally, are really more rockscapes in the desert. Uh, I'm gonna put up a picture of that, preferably one with zebras on it, to kind of show you what I mean. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna be building a rocky enclosure so they feel right at home, and uh, yeah. That's it, let's start building!
All right. So before we start touring the buildings that I just built, we'll take a look at what Kiki's done. So here we have the red kangaroo enclosure. Visitors can uh, view the <coughs> can view the roofs at jump height from here. They look really cool, like really nice, simple uh, herbivore enclosure. But I feel like this would this does just fine for these kangaroos. And then walking, 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 walking. <laughs> and then here we have the art wolf enclosure. Uh, these are the smallest uh, species of hyenas, and visitors can view them from here. There's one. And visitors can also watch them play from over here, which is on top of the animal's enclosure, which or uh, on top of the animal's uh, shelter, which is a really nice, interesting build. I really like the creativity uh, in this. And again, it's uh, it's a pretty simple, decent enclosure for small animals, but like. It works really well because of the viewing opportunities and everything like. So that is really beautiful. And then over here we have uh, what you just saw being built. <laughs> so if you should probably already know a little what it is. Ostrich one. And where's the zebras? They are... At least two behind are behind the rocks. The third one, yep, yeah, is there as well. Uh, so from here you can, you know, oh, it was in the shelter. Yeah, so from here you can view them from above, you know. Nice vista with the rocks in the background and everything. And, you know, plenty of trees to give them some shade and uh, bushes to eat from. And then down here... You can view them with, you know, as little limitations as possible. You know, the rocks are, you know, the rocks are there. They, they look like they're more there to prevent the animals from falling in than really to prevent them from coming out. You know, the animal, it looks like the animal could easily cross it. Same kind of goes for this fence. It's more there to keep the visitors from falling in than it really prevents them from climbing over it and climbing into the enclosure, which I got this idea from Kiki's Bongo enclosure and yeah, it's a really nice idea, although it doesn't have water because that would be kind of weird in a desert <laughs> to have that much water. Uh, then one last trip back. Uh, past this little, you know, eating station, cafe thingy. I might build a big full-size restaurant sometime, but for now this is where visitors can get their food. Um, got stuck behind the fence there. <laughs> and then down here into the actual exhibit. You know, nice simple stable, some hay on the ground, some hay to eat. Uh, there's actually two types of hay, uh, one that animals actually lie down on top of and one that they can eat. It's actually different hay and most animals won't eat the hay they lie on. Oh. Okay, I just had a really weird glitch. Apparently my mouse broke for a moment. Uh, I'm back. So, yeah. Zebra butt, ostrich butt. I'm sure you've always wanted to see that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there. That's about it. You know, they have this nice enclosure with plenty of rocks to hide behind, trees to sleep under, bushes to eat from. Like I said, a nice kind of simple enclosure. Oh, jerboa. I should probably build a jerboa exhibit as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for today and. Uh, yeah, next episode, uh, Kiki is going to build something, hopefully something uh, nice as well, like the two things she's already built.
bode really nice. So yeah. Until next time, see you later.